All right, I thought I'd take the time to review this Romanian Virgin parts kit here. Now, most parts kits you can't really review because they're kind of one of a kind. What you get is what you get. But when it comes to these new production kits, you know, WBP, Romanian Wazer kit, Wazer Virgin kit, whatever it is, some other ones, you can actually do a little review on them. You can compare the kits, that kind of thing. Now, this is the second Virgin Romanian kit I've gotten over the years. And I actually have to say the first one was a little bit better quality than this one. Now, I'll tell you, I ran into a couple of problems here. In fact, I'm going to show you this one first. This bolt, to even get it to go in the trunion, I actually had to file right here just a little bit. I ran... Just a couple times over it, stopped, tried it. But I've got it working. And of course, you see I've got the whole front end of the gun built at this point. But got it working right and everything. Something I didn't really anticipate, but I tried it out. Not too hard to do. Uh, everything else really went together pretty easily. And in fact, one of the good things about these kits is you don't have to start off with a milling bit or anything you can go straight with a drill bit through the hole and i have a temporary pin in this right now just holding it together so i could put everything together once we go and put this trunion into the receiver and all that good stuff and put the gun back together for the final time we'll have a real pin in here a permanent pin the right fitment and everything this one's just quarter inch hole quarter inch uh, piece of a drill bit just to hold it all together but the second major problem I ran into was actually at the end of the gun here. And this thing, I don't know if you could see it, but right there on the bottom, there's a lip. It just, when this thing was milled out, the hole was milled through it, whatever. They left a little bit of material right there. And now, I could have avoided all of it completely just by looking in this thing before I go to put it on the gun. But I didn't do that. So I start pressing and I actually didn't get past the threads. I didn't even have the threads coming out the other end of this thing yet. And it galled it up. In fact, couldn't get it back off. Took it over to the hydraulic press. I was just knocking stuff around. Did I finally get it off? Well, I took my grinder and cut a relief cut right here. And I actually didn't even have to go all the way through the whole weight. I just had to relieve some pressure and was able to pop it back off actually with a hammer. Luckily, I have a spare front sight post here. In fact, I have quite a few spare AK parts laying around, so it's not a big deal. But if this were someone else, home builder, you know, that doesn't necessarily have spare parts, this would have been, you know, this would have been a stopping point. Hey, they got to order a new part to even continue. So it would have been about 2020 was the last time I ordered one of these kits. And again, I would say that one was higher quality. The quality's definitely gone down. In fact, if we just look at this gas block, you can see it's cast. Well, it's not a big deal that it's cast. It's just the fact that you can see it and tell. Where if they would have cast it a little bit thicker even and milled it down, you'd have never really been able to tell. I mean, you would have, but not as easily anyway. It would have looked nicer and all in all, it would have been nicer. The fact that you really have to look and watch for imperfections on all the parts and everything, it's... You definitely get what you pay for, okay? I'm not really going to dog this kit. I still think it's a good kit for the price. I'm just going to say I probably won't be buying another one. Now, like in this, the little issue with this, if I had noticed it beforehand, I could have easily taken a Dremel to that little section, cleaned it up real quick, and there wouldn't have been an is issue. And in fact, I did take my caliper and check the barrel and then check this. I just didn't look inside of it to see if there was another imperfection somewhere inside so just a heads up if you guys are going to get one of these they're again they're not a bad kit expect a little bit of extra work again i still have to go about drilling this and putting it together and it's not really extremely difficult but it's time consuming and it takes a little bit of figuring a little bit of math a little bit of marking out things like that so all in all not a horrible kit for the price but 
definitely lacking on the quality side. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. There you have it.